All right. Hello. We're live. Awesome. Just going to get straight to the game. Just got to get it ready and working and all that stuff. Ugh. So yeah, today I'll be playing this for a few hours, and then we'll go to, then I'll eat, go eat supper, and then Persona. There we go. Get this done. And we're good. Hopefully. Jess, why are you sick? You're not supposed to be sick. There, yeah, go sleep. Sleep away the sick. It's additional content. No, oh, no thanks. But yeah, sleep away the sick. Feel better. What the heck was I doing? Professor Ronan. Whoops. Not what I meant to do. Preparo. Ah, there you are. Hello, Professor. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful what? one at that. I'm not the slith mending Slytherin, though. Repero. I'm Ravenclaw. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm, it seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor and there wasn't Weasley even a quiz. mentioned, I am not the only one. Oh, that's just because I found a green scarf. I've got the blue shirt in an underneath. Effort to catch you up with your peers, a number of your professors have agreed to do so as well. But also, first, I'm pretty sure certain after the quiz, I was actually Hufflepuff. Preliminary tasks to hone your magic. But this I game doesn't have a quiz. I some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. This game literally just asks, what do you value most? Do you value bravery, curiosity, loyalty, or ambition? And I just wanted to be part of Ravenclaw, so I chose curiosity. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Repero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. Yeah, excuse you, and go to these bed. these tasks should provide you with just that. Get better. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any hey. new bit of magic. No, the boring answer is Gryffindor. Gryffind oh, you mean the quiz thing. Yeah, that's boring. Not having an actual quiz for to pick your house. Yeah, that's boring. I'll start on the task right away, I Professor. thought if you're saying... Ravenclaw's boring. How dare you? Ravenclaw's probably the most interesting of the houses. What was I doing? I completely got distracted by you. Rebellion. Okay, that's how I do things. Check the flying pages in the defense. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. I shoot it. Take that. Lumos. I forgot how I'm supposed to grab it. 
Oh, there we are. That's you. Back to you. Makes sense. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Might some kind soul help me? Where are you? Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? No. Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. What? What? <laughs> what is the context to this? Or just me telling you to go to bed? Like, I understand that's your com- that's regular conversation. Oh, okay. But- uh, uh, uh. <laughs> That's horrible. Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. You're Leander so Pruitt's one of the worst, that no-talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? And They're if anything, balls, like I'm a marbles. grandpa. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's right. what I tried to tell everyone. Sleep well, feel better. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smell no. of and spit, it's their no. own fault for losing. No. Imelda is Don't one come of back. the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. <laughs> Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need <laughs> someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year. To oh, help you're playing me. to my ego, are you? Do you have any suggestions on how to get it's your stones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high. Got up there somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. It's kind of sad. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. That sounds sad. Page, back here. Brilliant. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly huh. see what all the fuss is about. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Yeah. Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your oh, wand is a conduit of your magic. How's it? Oh. Cool. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove oh. by the water. It yeah. allegedly symbolized heartbreak. 
Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Repair. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> Rebellion. Thank you, Professor. Alright, let's go get some gobstones. Rebellion. Oh, it's one of those. Whoops. What is the question mark and what is... I see you there, Paige. Now, it's another side quest. There's something in there. I just know it. That's absurd. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Hello. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Ooh, Lumos, eh? Thank you. Are there other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Lumos. Do come and find me if you stumble on... That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. It looks like it's down the stairs? Okay. I think it's time when you're better than someone. Yeah, oh, I was gonna say, it looks like it's right around here. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Interesting. I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. I'll do. What is this? Oh, that's cool. Oh, she's up there. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? Well, I found sorry. the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! Oh, what's my god. Did I, get, did I actually get the outfit? Because I kind of want to equip it. Yep. Uh, it's under here. Hooks and ropes. No. Outfit. Change appearance. Prefect.
What does it look like without this? Oh, no, I don't like that. Going back to just a regular school uniform. Hmm. Yeah, it's more blue. Unlock more stuff. <laughs> Never mind. I've almost unlocked more stuff. Oh, here we go. All right, back to looking for gobstones. And we'll also add it. <laughs> Saw you there. I'll be back. Okay, yeah. Oh, now I also have to keep an eye out for the paintings. Now, where'd that book go? Saw the paper. Did you... Where did it, where did it go? Gotcha. You'd better keep an eye on high places oh, around the school you. for Zenobia's gobstones. Something, something pinged. Oh, it's just that. Hello. Collect. Palm mystery model. This standing model of a hand is demarcated help students in the practice of palmistry. Depending upon the angle at which this model is read, it either has a considerable lifeline or is likely to die in a fortnight. Well, that's... Ooh. I finished a challenge. I get an ugly hat. 25 more for that one. Revenia. Where is the gobstone? Blow me? Blow me. Yeah. Ah, there it is. Gotcha. You can't imagine how inconvenient Revelio. What else is up here? I don't want a you. Revelio. Two. Plus something. Plus Hydra equals fourteen. Oh? No way. It's just telling me what it is? How did I how do I go into that inventory? There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. like three heads two horns one horn nothing I don't know what the four is five legs six well it doesn't have six legs but it looks like it, has, it might have six horns seven don't know about that one eight legs nine heads 
It's mostly obvious. So, two, three, that's five. So I need, wait, what? Yeah, so I need four. The first question mark is whatever four was. One, two, three. No, wait. Two, one, zero, two, four. And zero, one, so three. One, three. Have a footstool. Rebellion. Interesting. So thirteen zero. I need the double question mark is whatever five was. No, three, five. So five plus six is eleven four. Zero two four. Rebellion. This is awesome. One or two. Solar protection spectacles. So sunglasses. Oh, just better in every way, except I can't upgrade. I don't like. I do not like sunglasses. No thing. Nothing's covering my face. Rebellion. Hello. We. Oui. Celtic Hero KA. Eh? That sounds cool. How much is that? 10 offense. Wow, I'm already getting it better. And it's legendary. I had the long coat. Okay, I like the cape. I ain't changing that. And I have to check my outfits. When did I get that? Oh, it's just oh, it's just lighter. I don't like it as much. Oh, uh, there, we'll do that one. All right, next door. At least it's just math. Um, sorry. Six, five, that's eleven, so I need six. Zero, two, four, six. Zero, seven, so I need one. A steel blue rope, it's worse than what I got. But, it might look nice. Three standing clocks. Ooh. Rebellion. I'm trying to. What is this place? Arithmancy classroom. This classroom is where students learn about the magic properties and of numbers and numerology. There are a great many opt instead to spend the period counting moon cows whilst nodding off at their deaths. Something else in here? Okay. That was interesting. Now I can open all those doors. Thank you, box of helpfulness. Something pinged. I don't see anything though. I don't I'd like know to keep pinged. an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Hi. Lumos. Okay, I can't open you. You win this round. further I could go? No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Revelia. Something pinged. No, it's on the other side. Never mind. Wait. Oh. <laughs> Keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I'll look for that spot later. Revenia. Alright. 9 plus 3, 12, so 7. 1, 3, 5, 7. Where's the other one? Oh, really? Where's the other one? Oh, yeah. Also, 15 and 2, 17, so 6. Oh, they're right here. Zero, two, four, six. Let me in. Perfect casual outfit. And natural. Let's hope it's better than what I have equipped already. Damn. First of all, you're worse by a lot. Red plaid. Ooh. Yeah. Not the worst. We'll stick with it for a bit. I look like I just I don't know, threw on the first thing I saw. But it's fine. Yeah, it's way up there. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. That's down. Can I keep going up this way? Ooh, I can. It's all the way up here. Nothing. Hmm. Shame. I don't know Headmaster's Tower. Our office, whatever. Could be. I don't remember. Not what I meant. Keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelia. Spurs. The Goblet of Fire Casket. The Goblet of Fire rests within this ancient jewel encrusted chest. The Goblet has served as a means of selecting champions for the Trimaster Tournament since the contest establishment in the late 13th century. So that's where the Goblet of Fire is, eh? Hey, hold up. Hogwarts Herbology Award. Hogwarts receives a special award upon 7th year Hufflepuff Mirabel Garlic. From Mandrakes, Mistletoe, and Bubo Tubers to Bouncing Bulbs. Her work before has exceeded all expectations. Good for you. There's more. Ah, there's Rebellion. more. Paint. 
pinging things, but is it that stuff I'm pinging? It sounds like it is. There's also something over here. Can't open that. I'd better keep an eye on her. New scarf. Man, this is just a fashion game. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I like it. I like the scarf too. I like that one too. Let's wear this one for a bit though. Spool for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, wait. Revenia. No self armor. A set of armor for a half self is rumored to have been made by a crew wizard who wanted his health to protect him in battle. Happily, the wizard was too dense to realize that armor could, in fact, be considered clothing. The moment the elf donned it, he disapparated right out of it, never to be seen again. Good for that half self. That's funny. Get wrecked. Rebellion. Place as a treasure trove. Centaur armor. This unique set of armor is created as a misguided peace offering to a centaur leader. The gift was spurned, and the messenger shot through the leg with an arrow. The armor itself, battered with hoof marks, was later recovered and refurbished. <laughs> I know I keep hearing you. What is being picked? Oh, it's above me. Makes sense. Anything else? Oh, nope. oh yeah, control. Nice you, my young friend. Eh. This unusual suit of armor is crafted for a troll, though it has survived at well, that it has survived at all is astonishing, since trolls do not ordinarily wear armor, and would understandably be prone to smashing it in confusion or anger. Yeah, fair. Is it above me or below me? Oh, there it is. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. We did it. I should go and see her. Well. Very productive. Da -da -da. Ba -da -da -da. Let's continue. Let's run around. Ooh. be very unnerving. How far down can I go? That's all the way at the bottom. Revelio. Back here, you. Ah, another door. Why not? So where's the other one? Is that it down there? Anyways, can you stop being blue so I can see? 4 plus 2 means I need 0, which is you. 5, 1, and I need 5, which was you. As soon as I find where it is. To assume that's the one. Open. Ah. Anything else in here? We got a rug and a new, another new scarf. Oh, this one matches a little bit better. We're going to get into a battle, and I'm going to be super strong. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not done looking around. I think I saw... Yeah, I did. Oh! It's 
HP. I was pointing out glasses. Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. What do you mean we're empty? Slytherin. I've gotten some points so far. Ooh. Another flu powder network. Oh, it's the cafeteria. Then you can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Great hall ceiling. To make the sky above the castle. It's foggy. Oh, that's disappointing. How electric. Through that. Over here's one of you. You. So, yeah. Alright. 7, 9, 16, plus 8. We need this border. And we need 3. Statue and a night. Oh, that's on the other side. We don't like. We are all powerful. All power. Off on another adventure, are we? Uh huh. Pavelio. Go. That's over here. Can't do that. We. Nothing. Okay. Don't mind me. Repair. Whoops, wrong, wrong wrong. Oh, I know exactly where that is. That's literally right here. Rebellion. Lumos. Long moth. Got places to go. You. Just level up. Jeez. I have been getting way too distracted. And that's not going to stop anytime soon. Hogwarts crest. Yep. <clears throat> Representing each of the four houses, along with the school motto Draco, Dormians, Nanquam, Titalandus, which is never tickle a sleeping dragon. Whatever. Yeah. No fun. That's a lock. Can't open that door. Is there one on this side too? I could go this way. I don't think I want to though. I want to go this way. Rebellion. That's nothing. Numos. Okay. Yeah, this is nice.
I'll go back. Just wait. I have no attention span. It's a nice little jaunt outside. Oh, this actually does just go all the way around. Hmm? Something's pinging, but I don't see where. Oh, there it is. Yawning gargoyle. Although the smoke breathing gargoyle might appear to be enchanted, it's actually the Hufflepuff common room chimney. It's huh. awesome. There, aren't we? You don't have to look far to know who the disgrace is in our dormitory. Woolly jumpers are a nightmare for getting in the Revelio. When Howen said draw a chest. Wait. I think I'll go for a quick sprint on my broom after class tonight. Oh, I have to sell stuff? I didn't even know that was possible. Year 20 or 20. Huh. Well, shit. Maybe I should go to Hogsmeade after I talk to what's her name. Also, maybe I should destroy something quickly. Just in case she gives me something good. How oh, nice to see you, my young friend. Pavelio. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. Tezenobia. Load. Load so I can leave. Thank you. Probably don't have the spell yet. Why did I ever work my way around? I've almost made it back, finally. That's not the way down. had more luck than I did tracking down my gob- Hello, Zenobia. I found all of your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> <laughs> may I have my gobstones back? Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Hmm. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. You're gonna lose him again. Oh well, not my problem. So 
what did I just get? No, really, what did I just get? Did I get a wand or something? Why did I steal the award for excellence? What did I get? Conjuration. Oh. It's one of those. A wand handle. It is a wand handle. All the revealio pages. Cool. And challenges. Speaking of challenges. Your appearance for a legendary cape. Ah. That's... Okay. Okay, let's go to, uh, I'm not tracking anything. Da, 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 da. Where's quests? There you are. Hogmead. Required level two and Reparo. Rewards, ancient magic throw, ancient magic. I may be a little further than level two. I may be level eight. Speaking of. Why am I going the long way? Where's the entrance? Over there? I haven't been on that side of the school yet. Huh. I guess we're running. No, you're a person. Oh dear. I shall get in trouble for this. Okay, I still have gear. What do you want? Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. I thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. Oh. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation. Because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. <laughs> that sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did our meat tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. Okay. I suppose I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. All right, I can do that. Why not? That seems pretty easy. Plus, I haven't checked out the library yet. Revenio. I'm going to have to use Accio to get to those books. Uh -huh. Got it. I need four more to go. Money. Revenio. I hear a ping. 
I don't think that was what got pinged, but it could have been. Oh no, flu powder. I've always said the travel broadens the mind. Oh yes, the flu on the other side. Something over here. It's a lock. First off, spin. Yeah. Rebellion. Ooh, let's see. The old librarian, one of the first librarians of Hogwarts, is depicted here. Rumor is that he had no tolerance whatsoever for noisy students, and was known for his liberal use of the silencing charm at the slightest sneeze. Me just hunting books. What's this? Rebellion. Nothing. There's one down there. We'll get that later. There should be one more somewhere. There it is. Wait, you were just a re regular flying page? You weren't even the book? Get up. Rebellion. Hmm. Yeah. Plus five defense. Okay. Okay. You can't find that. Lumos. That's the head map. There, that's the librarian. Rebellion. Lumos. Come on, let's go. It's down there somewhere. I can kind of see it. There. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Well, I guess I'm reading her diary. Today was a good day. That is. Until Gareth splashed whatever ridiculous concoction he was creating all over my perfectly stewed lace wing flies. I have to empty my entire cauldron and start all over again. He is such a menace, thinks he knows everything there is to know about potions. Always disrupting Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. I'm utterly convinced that if he wasn't Professor Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now. Arbor Smokies again tonight for dinner. I'm becoming more partial to them now, although I still prefer meat pie. Okay, that was very... Whatever. Wait, anything Rebellion. back here? Yes. Yes, there is. Professor Black, might I suggest a ban on magic in the library? Someone has been sneaking into the restricted section, and Cressida Bloom seems to think the library is her own personal arena in which to practice her latest incantation. Since it's most disruptive, one might consider Peeves tame by comparison to such antics. Don't mind me, just reading your notes, messages, whatever. Bye. Oops. I have some books. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. No, I don't need Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now. To work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Bye. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. Yeah, certainly would. Okay. Like I said 
last time. To Hogsmeade. Please. Oh my. Um. I feel like you should be sitting there, but you're not. Yeah, that's really weird. What's dinging? Oh, paper. It's way above me. Hi. Alright, where's the paper? Have any space Looking left? For me? Yes. Hello. Natty. Hello, Natty. I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again, and to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Let's go, Hogsmeade. I was Let's glad go. Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a better be in the village. Thanks, friend. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient nice. rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. <laughs> Understandable. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. <laughs> but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. Also, don't blame you. Not much you. for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Snow sucks. Oh, I don't wait, mind the cold. Here. cold. I just hate snow. I What's often up? spot lace-winged flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Revelio. Okay. <laughs> Let's continue on our merry way, Natty. Look, from the forbidden forest, hippogriffs. I wonder if something oh. startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. Oh. Why is it off limits? I'll be going in there. The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Agreed. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. Oh my god. It's pretty far. It's gotta be a faster way. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. Me too. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, 
much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Don't mind me, just going a little off just to grab some stuff. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. It's over here. I check it out, but I can't really. I'm on a quest now. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? <laughs> Jemmy, guys, ugly and airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Okay. Bye. Poor Mr. Moon. A Demi, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Look at this. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the It's not just hugs me. I'm really happy to explore whenever you'd like. Moonstone. You what they are about goblins and such. It might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Friends. I have a friend. We made it, how's it? And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The three broomsticks is the place for butter. Sorry, I start with the cat. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. Aww. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. Good kitty. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. So, where are we going first? Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and a new wand. Of course! You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Oh my. And points of interest. Spells. Ollivanders. Where am I? Food flame currently unavailable. Point the three broomsticks. Point of interest. Joke shop. Nice. Sporting goods. Brooms. I can't use brooms yet. Sorry. Need that. Go there. All right. Let's start with the. Since it's right, literally beside me, let's start with the wand. God damn it. I'm selling stuff after this. Maybe. I need to know what's in here first. See? It was important. Not really, but... Need it. 
ring ring. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Okay. Ah. Uh, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for. For a new wand. Yes. It's about time. Yes, I. About time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. Sure it's have. a pleasure to meet you. Truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here. Give this one a try. Well, go ahead. Swish. Hmm. No. How odd. Uh, once more. Come on. Really swish it. Oh, dear. No. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, thirteen and three quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Goodness. Uh, looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Think you might be the one. Here, take it. No quiz. Oh, I get it. Oh, I can just make my own wand. How intriguing. this Ooh. like as big as can be or like care what it's indeed how intriguing I don't care about any of that Curious indeed. Pick one that has the best look. How intriguing. Nah, it's boring. I like the spiral one, sort of. Curious indeed. It looks just like a normal stick. How intriguing. Hmm. I kind of like... Yeah, we'll go with the green-gray one. Oh, wood-type elder wand? Hell yeah. I show for Hawthorne Curious Hazel indeed. Holly. Okay, we gotta go for maple. How it's intriguing. Maple I don't know what... The Yeah, let's pick my shoe size just for the hell of it. Uh, shit. I'm between 10 and a half and 11, depending on the shoemaker, so we'll go 10 and three quarters. How intriguing. Shit. 
Jess were here. Stiff, because it's hilarious, but no. Curious indeed. <laughs> Whippy. Reasonably supple. Supple. Slightly springy. Swishy. Surprisingly swishy. How okay, I'm picking a surprise. I think I'm picking a surprisingly swishy because it just sounds hilarious. Oops. It is surprisingly swishy. And the core type. Unicorns are boring. Dragons are everywhere. Ah, Go for the phoenix feather. Phoenix feather, exceptionally rare, and a core with a strong sense of initiative. Oh, what's he say about all of them? That's it. Hmm. A unicorn hair wand is most reliable and faithful to its owner. That's boring. What do you say about dragons? A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Hmm. Phoenix said, oh, there it is. I don't know what. Maple? Alright. Just a sec. This is very important. Uh, shit, I don't know how to do this. Well, it's not very important, but... Okay, we're good. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the excellent. bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Yes, sir. Revelio. I have a one now. And with that, had a handle to it. They all look stupid. Like, that one seems okay. That one's just weird looking. Topped with a silver owl? What? 
Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Why not? It has the owl. Tego. Lumos. Okay, let's go to a shop where I can sell something. I have way too much crap. Let's go there. I've got too much garbage. I need to sell my inventory. Get me in. Let me have some tea. <sighs> yeah. Hello. Why can't I talk to you, sir? Sir. Hello. Rebellion. Sir. Sir. I can't sell yet. Fine, I'll be back. Disappointing. Disappointing. It is purple, but it looks really stupid with the wand. And also, hello, Pikachu. Where's like going again? Potions? Oh, stop to pet the kitty. Good kitty. Yeah, good kitty. What's this? Money! Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. I can't sell stuff as much as I want to sell stuff. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss La Wang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Absolutely. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Yeah, what can cute. I do for you today? Oh. Recipe for healing potion? I like that it's free. Edder's potion. Causes a rocky film to develop. Oh, protection potion. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Okay. Well, first of all, I'm just glad I can sell stuff to you.
focus, damage potion, invisibility potion, spell damage, and ingredients. Okay. You do not sell potions for very cheap, except the healing potion. All I know is I'm glad I could sell stuff to you, so now, what's in here? School, a distinguished school robe. But my cape. Oh, oh good. So even after I, as long as I've picked up once, even after I sell it, I can still use the outfit. Oh, good. Good, that means I can just sell everything that gets... What can I do for you today? That means I can sell you. You're upgradable, so I might, you might actually still be useful later on. Eh, probably not. I mean, I can sell things without worry. I can still keep them as... Fashion? Fashion, that's the word. Magic neep. Gotcha. I forgot about doing this. The Magic Neep cart. This cart belongs to Timothy Teasdale, who runs the Magic Neep. He enjoys being in the thick of things and engaging with customers outside the shop. I also unlocked something. Glasses. Gross. Hello. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I am choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Sounds good. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Unlocks the ability to grow Dittany in small pots. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Room of requirement items. Fertilizer. Leaves. How much are these? Hmm. Well, when I real when I if I learn how important potions and stuff are, I will be back. Till then. Oh, there's a joke shop over here that I passed by in. Oh, it's outside. Eh. Pardon me, sir. 
I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like what? custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Oh, my. A beast. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Beast feeder, beast toy box, shopping station. Well, Plant that's everything. Ah. Better go and find Natty. Dung composer. For fertilizer. Popping pot. Cool. Moonstone. Large pot. Two large pots. Medium pot. Two medium pots. Three medium pots, three small pots. Five small pots. Medium potion station. T-shaped potion. Interesting. I'll, I'll learn all that later too. Let's go meet Natty. But first things first. Rebellion. See foam nightwear. Let's see what that outfit looks like. Oh, I do not like. You don't want to go back to that. Stealth on grade. Spawn, so. <laughs> Baby surprise awaits anyone who tries to wash with this particular bar of soap. Once submerged in water, a cohort of wriggling tadpoles hatches right out of the suds. Wow, that would suck. Anything else? 
myself here of interest. I love this place already. Don't push, push. <laughs> Seriously, how can you have a not push button and not push it? The dung bomb. Yeah. Don't think we're. Who is this? You all learn cannon mystery. There's a firework. Oh, I was hoping another. <laughs> Did. Is it also. It does change. Yeah, that's cool. Right, I gotta pull it again. Just let it go. Dang. <laughs> Damn locks. Ha, got it. And then I actually think I was gonna get it there. Hi, Natty. Just a sec. Let me just get that quickly. And this. Not too worried about that. And that. Hengist of Woodcroft. This statue is of Hufflepuff Hengist of Woodcroft, believed to be the founder of the village of Hogsmeade after having been driven from his home by Muggle persecutors. And we level up. You can't Beautiful. How, was I invented how much HP do I have now? 410. Cool. Uh, challenges. I have unlocked. I have hat. What does it look like? That's the real question. I kind of look a bit like the Mad Hatter. But with a colorful hat. We're going to keep it on. I like it. Hi, Natty. I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Oh, no. Marvel. Well, you certainly came out of nowhere. You came to the wrong neighborhood. Red, I have to dodge, eh?
Oh my god, I just blew it up. Goodness! A second troll! Did you two take on a fully grown troll? By yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard! Are you alright? We are. And we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, Officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Alright, let's go repair some stuff. What's this combo? Repair. <sighs> I will see what he wants. Goodbye. Rebellion. Repair. Rebellion. Thank you, Rabbit. Thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Revenia. Uh, ah, we're here. Repair. Like nothing ever happened. Lucky they didn't do anything. Like nothing ever happened. Yeah. So what did he want? We were just talking about you. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Yeah. That's very kind of you, Mr. Hill, but I can't accept robes that I didn't pay for. <laughs> Nonsense! I insist! Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. It's garbage. What does it look like? Very basic. Okay. More importantly... Yeah, really? You're gonna have me equip the garbage? Hmm. You happy? Don't I have the Celtic Hero Cape? Isn't that what I'm wearing? No, that's what I had, and then I sold it. Or tri Ooh, what's this one look like? Ooh. Matches my hat. Fancy. Eh, don't care. These actually aren't all that expensive. <laughs> yeah, that's really good offensively. But I'll probably 
outgrow it very quickly. Quit it, Rogue. Yeah. Oh my god. Why can't I equip that? I'm at a high enough level. Okay. What gives offense and what gives defense? Gloves give offense. Did I just buy that? I actually don't have any gloves, so maybe I should. It's only 200. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. Yes. Let me equip my gloves first. It's the one piece of equipment I am missing. There we go. Let's see. They're not the worst. But we're going to go with gloves. Also, I need to see the new Sankos. Those are very normal looking, actually. Like, they're actually very normal looking. Not bad. You can upgrade broom. Cool. I sell even more battle worthy items. Oh. Should you be inclined? Welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Thank you. I would like to. I'll start by doing that. You're lucky I don't know how to open you yet. Alright, let's go. Lead the Assuming way. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. He's got a top hat. He must be evil. Follow him. Why are you following the gun? Oh. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. I want that page, though. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. It's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Thank you. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thank you for this. My pleasure. So you were really say, bored. <laughs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. 
Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with. <coughs> oh. oh, time, man. <laughs> Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. Kick his ass. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. Thank you. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ovenous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. That was very like cartoon villain I should you. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Don't press that. Open objectives. Okay. Thank you. Rebellion. The three broomsticks. Currently owned by Serona Ryan, and allegedly as old as Hogsmeade itself. The three broomsticks is a long standing gathering spot for villagers and Hogwarts students who want to enjoy a butterbeer or fire whiskey. What did I just eat? Just drink and eat. Yes. Mm. Nice. Nothing up there. <laughs> money. I love money. Oh, and another thing over here. Stash in the corner. this one look like oh it's got the raven on it nice Rebellion. anything up here this place is big oh it's outside look at that Oh, that's the book from earlier. Anyways, I'm not done climbing. I want to see what's at the top. Ah, a lock. Understood. I will get out of here then. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Rookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly oh, hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. You must return. All right, all right. Ow. I love you. You're 
adorable. Yeah. You are adorable. Lumos. Huh. Professor? Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Okay. Oh, that's cool if I go too fast. I pet you. I can read mail, but I want to pet you. Oh well. Can't tell if it wants me to go up or down. I would assume down. And I guess I was wrong. It wanted me to go up. Well, what's in here? Chest with money. Rebellion. I just looted some student. All his hard-earned money. It's mine now, though. Common room? Oh, bathroom. What a fancy bathroom. There's something here. Where is it? Maybe there is nothing here. Maybe it's... There it is. More money. Oh, this is my room. Rebellia. So did I just rob another student? I gotta stop doing that. Or keep it up. Om nom nom. Apple. What are you up to now? Who said that? Oh, you said that. Black is without a doubt the worst headmaster in the history of Hogwarts. She's not behind Post chest. What do you think Black's wife is like? She must be miserable. Although, not hmm. rather mistaken. Let's run. I could fast travel, but at the same time, if there's something I missed. Oh. Ravenclaw door knocker. Ah. Want to solve a rather esoteric riddle using logic and reasoning posed by the enemy. Managed to find the other house entrances. Oh yeah, I can open these doors now too. Let's start with you. One plus eight is nine. Thirteen minus nine is four. First of all, money, thank you. Zero, two, four. And the other one? Thirteen and three, so sixteen, so I need five. One, three, Open. I'm just too good. I can math. Oh, it's worse. Rebellion. I need to keep going down. <gasps> Mirror. Lumos. That's just upstairs, isn't it? that literally in here somewhere? Yeah. Doop, doop, 
do 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 get in there. Thank you. Ah, it's bright. I don't know where that pinging is. Is it above me? Rebellion. I don't know where that is. That way somewhere, but I can't see it, so. Or it was that. Oh, one of these. Might as well do this one you over must. here. Two pillars and a thingy? down here. so many pillars that that doesn't actually help me I think there was also painting somewhere but again because they're not normally too far away from what I've been seeing Wasn't that painting, was it? I need to check this again. No. There's also a door next to those two pillars. I don't think I'd be leaving the area, so it's got to be in here somewhere. you're defending false mead against trolls. You know, there is such a thing as trying too hard. I really don't know where it is. Oh, it's just you. I don't know how to feel about that. Lumos. Painting of a centaur? What is this place? Why? Revenia. The pungent passage. This patch of sage is relatively nondescript as far as passages go. However, the mishandling of a crop of Mimbulus Mimbletonia in the 16th century and the accompanying tsunami of stink sap left it with a rancid odor that even the strongest scaring terms cannot seem to eradicate. <laughs> Neat. Now there's the painting of the centaur. No, no, that's not a painting of the centaur. That's just a statue of the centaur. And then you source indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. There's the painting of the centaur. Lumos. Um, I could spend all my galleons at Honeydew. Oh, it's on this side. 
Lumos. Anyone been into Albi Weekly's shop lately? Uh, not someone else trying to pass through. I'd be careful if I were you. I'm still trying to find this door though. And the double pillars. I am struggling for that one. You can't imagine how inconvenient. I should have known better than to buy something from a child walking the street. Pavilion. Are you? Lumos. I don't know where that is. There's a painting. And the window. And the door. Is it one of those paint windows? No, it's just a normal looking window. on that side over there. It might actually be. No. Rebellion. So yeah, was there a side quest around here somewhere? Looks like someone's got a side quest for me. Lumos. Oh, is it up here? What are you up to now? There you are. Oh my god, I found it. Finally. Let's go. Did it. Okay, let's go back up. It looks like there's someone there. Are they below or above? Let's check below first. Revenia. Oh, they're above. Is that what that symbol means? They're on a different floor. They're still above. There you are. Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. Sure. Hello. Were you calling me? I was, yes. I thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, sure. to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Yes. Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Why do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Ooh. Oh, oh, sorry. Very I don't well. remember where that is. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. What? What the hell does that mean? Horn. Accio. Door. Okay. Well, you're not Hackett's classroom. Let me 
Revelia. Back here. Okay. So two. Five. Seven. Yeah, five and seven. Looking for seven. Seven. Sunrise break. There's usually two chests in here. There it is. Quidditch equipment shelf. Also, what's the robe look like? Does it look nice? Oh, it's too blue. When did I get network? What's the difference? Oh, I see. That one goes behind me and that one goes in front. Oh, I like that one more. Okay, first things first. Wait, now it's in front. Oh, I see. It's got the fringes. That's what it meant. The classroom is it in? It's on here, right? No. What was that? I thought I heard something going fo fo fo. You're just a bathroom. All right, let's do it the cheap way, because I can't figure it the way down. There we go. Defense against the dark arts. I got lost. Yeah. Like am I not a skeleton? I'm on the right track. Outside. So go this way. No. Not the way out. How do I get outside? This way? Nice. There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. Now, once I've exited the courtyard, I should look for a stairwell. Oh. This stairwell looks promising. Looks like the portrait from the map. Now, where's the treasure? Aha! There was a doorway hidden within the portrait. That is trippy. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Well, that was trippy. Got some. Oh, I got an outfit though. It was a cloak. It was an outfit. What did I get?
It looked like I got a historian something. Uniform. Authentic historian's uniform. But what's that for? Look like cloak and robe. Oh, there it is. Fancy, but not what I want. Although I do kind of look silly. Almost tempting. I like it hanging over like that, so I think the fringed one will stay this time. Nice. That looks silly. I don't want to run back to him. I really don't want to run back to him now. I don't think so. Raphne was still trying to levitate himself about magic. Goodness. Find anything yet? Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's Yeah, I'm kind of wearing it right now. Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's office might yield anything interesting. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. So where am I going? I am currently not tracking a thing. That would explain it. I went the wrong way. Quests. Professor. Let's go. Nyong. interested in that one. Oh, hello, Professor. What's up? Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow, like the dragon collar. Goblin silver. Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Sorona and the patrons of the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription, 
when I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure. Oh. But I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. The restricted section, to be precise. And a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book. But we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Okay. Oh, hey, Jay. Uh, so far, I'm really enjoying the game. If you like the Harry Potter universe, it is quite a lot of fun. So far. I'm not very far. What is that down there? Quest? But it's big. There's a lot to do. And send you. And there's so many outfits and I love outfits. There's a bit of jank every so often, though. But it feels quite polished. Yeah, it's not cheap. But so far, definitely worth it if you like the Harry Potter universe. about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like right. you to complete a few tasks. I actually haven't you noticed any like bugs some yet. There's been some jank that will never go away, know. but that's just when you're finished, I feel like that's just part for the course for all open world games. It's mostly just things fading in and out. You know where nothing, to find me once you've finished. Nothing uh really jarring. What am I doing? Turn around spell counter. Oh, okay. Seems Crossed Wands isn't as secret as it's believed to be. Back to Crossed Wands. Time to fight more people. Which way is the fastest way to get there? Probably there. can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented travel. Okay, I think I went the long way. Oh well. Yep, I went the long way. Where is this leading me? Okay, let's try to find a different route. This is taking me a very long way.
Hawk Tower Courtyard. Let's try there. Ah, much, much better. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Ones all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Ooh. Yes, Natty. Then let's get to it. Why not? Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. Violet shields with Aggie. Okay. gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That huh. would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Assignment's all finished. All right. What gear did I get? No. Yeah. Arms? No. Which is a heck it is. Defense.
this message. Gone live. Ah. What are you up to now? I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you found success in your endeavors. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hecate. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, Me too. focus on the proper wand movement. Hmm, Concentrate you. and keep your wand steady. It's essential. Helio, Protego, Stupefy, Ancient Magic Throw, Ancient Magic. Oh. Melhamora. Do that for now. Good work. Feel free to practice in the classroom before you go. I've set up a few targets for you. Incendio, you're getting it. Keep at it. And do try not to incinerate yourself. Yes, yes it is. Revelia. I can burn things now. That's a fig. Okay, wait. Where are you? Are you above? No, you're below. Side quest. Spare a moment. Absolutely. I could use your help. You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. Yeah, I'm pretty awesome. Oh, that's nice to hear. I've had my share of adventure. I hope my reputation's warranted. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see... We were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a, a puff scheme. They're adorable. Why would you be afraid of a puff scheme? They seem adorable until one sticks its tongue up your nose. Regardless <laughs> of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puffskeen Dunkeen. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Words can be cruel. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway, 
To make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. What sort of plant should I expect in the Hidden Herbology Corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? No. If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Okay. I can do that. Why not? Hmm. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Sounds intriguing. It certainly does. Revenia. Guess I'll do this one. What do we need? Thirteen... Eight? Wait. No. Yes. Yes. Eight. Five, nine, fourteen, three. Where's the other one? Revelio. Oh, it's up there. Crimson Quidditch gloves. Niffler statue. Better gloves. Barely. Barely better gloves. Several blocks serve Skegglethorpe, the heedless who unwisely challenged the mountain troll to a game of musical chairs. Oh, it's a club in it. That's great. That was number 25, wasn't it? Oh. Top of the class scarf. Cool. And. Hogwarts Regalia Ensemble. what that looks like. Let's take this off temporarily. Ew. I'm back to my other thing. What's this? Broken broom? Long, this broken broom belonged to Selene Wart Abbey, and is rumored to be all that remains after she insists on demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm to fellow third years. No one knows if she succeeded. Is she trying to move the moon or go to the moon? If someone wouldn't mind letting know in the class right, right. I'm more. We'll definitely feign a bit of dragon box for. Off on another adventure, are we? Not that I'm going to find out one. Ah. Boop. 
Yeah, I'm just quite a little curious. Okay, I can't just light everything on fire. Fifty for the last for the next one. Whew. Not sure we should study for the astronomy exam. What am I doing here? Pavelio. Oh, it's below me. How do I get that? Whoops. Lum bumbles. Lum bumbles are magical flying insects that produce a treacle, which will cause melancholy melancholy if it's consumed. They feed on nettles and nest in dark and secluded places. Unfortunately, they are known to infest beehives, having a devastating effect on the honey day. Oh well. Oh, I gotta get down there. How do I get down there? Oh, never mind. It's guiding me. Incendio. Yeah. Oh, that's just a trash can. This. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. I guess I need a different spell for that. Revelio. Incendio. Spooky. Um, this must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Oh. oh. Okay, we go slowly then. Up here? No, okay. <sighs> Incendio. Oh, button. Lumos. Seems the devil's snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Actually, what's this rope look like? Ew. Ooh, that's kind of nice. I don't mind it. Lumos. 
I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacle would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Lumos. Incendio! Lumos. Incendio! Lumos. Incendio! Lumos. Indeed, rather creepy. Well. I think I got everything I needed. Where am I gonna end up? Wink. Wink. Yeah. Big yoink. Noble Azure Overcoat. Legendary. Oh, it's not bad actually. Pretty basic. We'll take it. I like that, but I also like this one. My outfit's gonna change so much. Curse them. Rash like fruit floats upside down. It's gross. I believe it can enhance one's ability to accept the extraordinary. Oh, that's weird. But yeah, super cool. That's where it came from. Another chest. A bit of money. Rebellion. Greenhouse tree. Situated at the center of a Hogwarts greenhouse, this giant tree has a system of roots as deep, reaching, and convoluted as the school's dungeons. Cool. Handy Yay. resource indeed, your field guide. Flu network. That's what that is. Revenia. How rare a metamorphosis I do. What's this? Oh, quick potions? Have you found anything to, uh, prove my bravery yet? No, Hello, you'll Duncan. never be brave. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to puff scheme dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Thank you for all of your help. No more puff scheme dunking for me. Ooh, venomous tentacular rope. 
wonder what that looks like. It's just green. Okay, back to quests. That was not what... That did not seek quests, that was gear. I shouldn't be too far from the classroom. There's like, I don't get what that means on the map that there's something here. Is it the chest that's above me? I don't know. Well, that's all. Hey, Professor. Ah, there you are. What do you know? There I am. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hecate. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. Let's go. So, shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office, five minutes. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I could go alone. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Okay. Let's go. You don't seem to be too far away. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Hey. Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the three broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Brookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. You were there. What was that all about? Seems he's working with Ranrock. And Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Ranrock? And when were you at Gringotts? Professor Fig and I ended up there after the dragon attack. It's quite the tale. Fig had this port, A port key. key to Gringotts? I'm not sure I follow. I barely follow myself, and I was there. Anyway, we ended up in an ancient vault where we found a map. That map leads to the restricted section. You can't be serious. Deadly serious. Professor Fig has insisted that I not tell a soul about any of this. I've probably said too much. Understood. Your secret's safe with me. Whatever it is. Thank you, Sebastian. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. Okay. How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. 
What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner, so don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean, I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. I'm in. I shall pretend I cannot see you. Thanks. Usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. You distract, I get the key. Understood. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. So, how's he going to do this distraction? Is someone there? Is that you, Peeves? On that side of the bookshelf. That wasn't so difficult after all. Now, to find that book. Revelio. Oh, actually, is a thing. Oh, that one's charmed to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tone by its cover, I say.
ghost. Don't let her see you. Revelio. Should be in the clear. No need for us to be skulking about. Yeah? I don't believe so you. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she but can then... return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone. Right, chain of books. Flip one's hand as to their content. Being spectacular drill of no educational value whatsoever. Why do you think you'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's Stop. focus on what you're after. Which is what, Rebellion. precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully... Oh, you still have more to say. I don't like that. Uh, where's the French one? Cryptic. Being awfully cryptic. Quietly now. Wait. Oh, I think I get it. Ah. That's how I would get through those. Rebellion. Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. I'll be quieter than a job along. Shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you? I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Luck. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this. <laughs> A very precarious spot if it's already fallen once. Revenue. And further down we go. Of course. Traces of ancient magic. Be more to this room. Wait. No, that's just normal. It's just a normal chest. I thought it was one of the ones I had to be invisible for. Not a fan of that one either. Cool. 
Cool. Chest. Diamond Debonair Ensemble. That sounds fancy. I need to go sell stuff again soon. Let's go to Hogsmeade in a bit. Ooh, good defense. What's it look like? Eh. Eh. Where might this lead? Revelio. The Athenia. Not surprising. Wait. Let me just try this quickly. Incendio. No. I almost missed this chest over here. That would have sucked. Another flat cat. You kind of have to change the outfit every time. You can't just be like default outfit. Or maybe there is a way. Smash! That? Revelio. Successful 10 plus hit combos. Begin generating ancient magic power. So I think this will greatly recover a small amount of health. Oh. Huh. It definitely was devastating. But basically, don't spam it. Maybe save it for like bosses or something. <laughs> How do I get over here? Repair. 
Oh, I just attack it. Put it over here. I want that chest. Nothing there to attack. anything. I don't see anything. And I definitely can't make that jump. But. Ah. Uh, there's a tall path. Okay. If only were that. Oh, that not worth it. forward but to where incendio incendio No! God damn you! Alright, what's the cheapest thing I've got? 90, 60. Wait, aren't I? Don't I have that equipped? Sixty. Okay, that one sells for sixty. Get rid of that one. Oh, this one only sells for nothing. Get out of here. Spectacles. Yes. Better glasses. Way better glasses. Up nineteen. Okay, we're gonna leave that for a bit. I look amazing. Yo. Better than you. about me. Best.
Oh, where'd you... Is a book after all. I found a book. Oh, I look great. That's some powerful magic. You wanted to see me? Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganoff, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival... Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, 
You must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. <laughs> I was not expecting. I forgot about that already. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> Can I just leave? Okay. Can I go to Hogmead before I do anything else? I need to sell more stuff. Good, good. Let's go sell some stuff. The clock doesn't get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Oh. Rebellion. I forgot to read that. Oh. Hello there. Please Hello. Uh, come in. Let me know if you need help finding anything. I need help selling stuff. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. numbers go up I'd say that looks as if it was made for you only a two point difference and that'd be five so seven point difference yeah I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion be sure to stop by whenever you're about Whoops. Five hundred. Nice. Let's look around a bit. Well, hello there. Come in, look around, and if you've been eating chocolate It's in here. Avelia. Ah. Hello, cats. I will pet you in a sec. Scriven shaft cats. These cats need to stay close to Scriven shaft's quill shop. Perhaps it's the feather quills that entice them. Perhaps it's the treats the owner often leaves for them. I must pet every both of them. Hmm. Free kitty. Now for the other kitty. Yeah. That's right. Oh. 
You're a good kitty too. Yeah. They're all good cats. Diamond jumper. What does that look like? I hate that I'm looking at these. Go sell that quickly. Before you ask, I'm all out of the new sock, so if your feet are smelly, you'll have to work it out for yourself. Don't worry about it, just here to sell. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Alright, where do I want to go now? Check out over here. Rebellion. I told you not to go down that path. Lost. Miss Peck from Bruise and Peck said a customer lost a dearest. <laughs> there you are. Huh. Finally, I'll have enough for that wind whisk. Ah, well. Not meant to be. Also, I may have knocked over a dustbin back there. Never mind. Thank you for the money. Okay, can't go to that place. Let's check over there. Whoops. I will come back here later. All that. Where'd you go? Gotcha. Hogsmeade, here I come. Incendio! Come on inside. Oh, watch yourself, though. I'd have you leave here alive. Who are you? Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Deathcap. Oh, uh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little dears. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Or if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear up. Wait. Someone died here. Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. What do you have for sale? What does she well, say? what say we show you some of what's available? Seeds. I want to grow a oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Shall we burn gear in a thrashing? Dogweed and death cap tree. Oh, oh, I can't believe it. Hat. Oh, 
It's very basic witch hat. But it ain't that. I look spectacular. Um I don't think I'll be need that for a bit. Chimney? Looks like it's somewhere back here. I just need to find a chimney then. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. This chimney? First of all, get over here. Lumos. I'm a long moth. It was indeed that chimney. Hope you're not here for an autograph sprig, because I'm not entirely sure I have them in stock. What else is there to look around? Go there. That looks to be up that way. Revenia. Vanin Shop. The proprietor of this Vanin Shop is said to have used a shrinking charm to aid in storing his inventory. However, a slight miscalculation ends up, for all intents and purposes, vanishing it. Nice. Gloves. Ooh, another one. Wani. Lumos. This looks like rocks and trees. That literally just down there. No. It might just be right here. Yep. Head now, I guess. Revenia. This looks like there'd be something. Money. That's an actual bird. I thought that was a uh, paper. That's paper, though. I'll reach. Got that one. Pumpkin patch. Chickens. Draw. Can I climb this? No. I was excited to climb. Oh, Hello. just here. Be with you hey. in a bit. Hey, I'm here. Yes. You're after something fresh. Actually, yes. Now, you let me know if there's cheap, anything so else I, I can help you with. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. All right, before I sell everything to him. Oh, that's actually nice and plain. I like it. Uh, 
challenges. Jeez, prankster coat. Yeah, what's it look like? Oh man. Not too bad. But this outfit just seems to go better with it. Or that one. But I gotta look fancy. I'm coming back to Let sell me again. You're after something fresh. No, I'm just here to sell, actually. You have a good head for business, haven't you? No one can say I don't keep a stacked shelf. Rebellion. Those chests are literally just funny. More cozy than Rebellion. Something ding. Oh, right here. Hog's head docks. These docks inside the Hog's head and offer pleasant place to interact if one can do so whilst only a stone's throw from whatever nefarious goings on may be occurring in the notoriously shady end. I heard that ding. Inside. Inside. Mounted hog's head. As mounted hog's head rolls its eyes and snuffles its nose, it oversees the seedy atmosphere and decidedly interesting clientele of the hog's head. Mine now. Thank you. Rebellion. My plans have enough. Think. I pet the cat. It's a good mom. Can I get anything else in Ollivanders, or is there even is there even a point to going to Ollivanders anymore? Let's check. Rebellion. Sorry. First, get that. The dock. It's actually just the hog's head dock. Ah. <laughs> okay, you win this round, dock. Um. Okay, we don't go around that way. Understood. There you are. You give me a. Hogsmeade, here I come. Revelio.
So is there anything in here? Hey, Ollivander. Any reason to come back in here? The answer seems to be no. Okay. She just broke into someone's house. What's that up to now? Lewis. I don't know where that one is. Cherry blossom trees, though? Should be just over here, then. Most likely. Yeah. Somewhere. Pavelio. Pavelio. Is that it right there? That's it right there. Just get some free money. Come along. Let's go. It seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. All roads do lead to Hogsmeade. Oh, this is actually just a big chest. Elegant shirt and tie uniform. Just a little bit better. It's an actual owl. Is this still technically hogs me in here? Weirding. I hear I hear a ding. But mind me, I'm just here for your money. Paper. Chocolate frogs. Nice. Cool. I had to try.
Where are you? I don't know. Ah, there you are. Hugs me. Okay. We did it. Doesn't get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Uh, I should imagine she'd always have room for it. Sell the extra stuff. Ah, it's always nice to see a familiar face. So. Oh. Revelia. Not close. They're better. Barely. And scarf. It's also barely better. It's better in terms of defense, I guess, but eh. I like my fringe scarf. Level 15. I have a problem. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Nothing like large. finding just the right thing, is there? And a medium pot. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Eventually, I'll need that, I bet. I really don't mind. A Maybe pleasure money for that. business with you. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Okay. Back to Hogwarts. The Professor Fig. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section, as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Dear, some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful that may take some time. 
I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? In the second, they were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic, too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. Hmm. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. Okay. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, okay. and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Yep. <sighs> Got the cloak. Legendary cape. What's this? What do I get here? Islands. Hmm. I want to see what the cape looks like. Oh. Live as soon until Professor Fig returns. Perfect. This is where I think we save and call it for today. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Herbology class, no. Expelliarmus, hell yeah. Okay. That'll all be for next time. Oh man. Professors Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defense and spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you and then proceed to see me in my classroom. It's time to review your dueling medal and see if we have a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed wands. Also, the training dummy is still available. And yes. Five hours. That's it? Wow. Feels like I'm going. Alright. I'm gonna go for now. When I come back, I will, uh be playing Persona. So this is done for today. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in an hour and a bit or so.